It was on the 9th of October 1949 that seven young girls claimed to have had visions of the Blessed Mother. Greta, Erica, Marie, Betty, Irma, Kuni, and Antonia. These seven young girls were also visited by Jesus, several saints, and angels. Later, up to 300 people also had apparitions, and soon the site of the apparition became a place where thousands of pilgrims flocked. The apparitions began in 1949 on October 9th. The girls were gathering leaves in the autumn forest when they suddenly looked up through a birch grove. Immediately afterwards, a woman in white appeared in the same place with her hands folded in prayer. At first, she looked like a nun, but the girls realized she was the Virgin Mary. She appeared almost transparent, and attached to a belt on her right side was a black rosary. Four days later, the girls are back at the same place and confronted by the same phenomenon. As the days and months went by, news of these apparitions began to spread rapidly through the community and soon large numbers of pilgrims would join the girls at the site of the apparitions. On December 8th, a prayer service was held at the apparition site where 8,000 people were present. Similar to the apparitions at Fatima, the great miracle of the sun was experienced. When the girls asked the Blessed Mother whether this was a sign of authenticity, she said she did it because there were so many unbelievers that they may believe it too. On the 25th of December, the girls went back to the apparition site with more than 4,000 pilgrims. The Blessed Mother appeared with the child Jesus and the girls asked her what was her wish. The Blessed Mother then said the people should do more penance and pray intensely that they should also honor the Holy Family during the Christmas season and pray the Rosary every day, accompanied by a devotion to the heart of Mary. She then blessed the girls and disappeared. In the spring of 1950, the Blessed Mother appeared to the girls, reaching out her hands to them so they could feel her. They even got the permission to get a glimpse of heaven and see the Holy Trinity. The children were so amazed that they all stated they would have preferred to go to heaven immediately. On the 25th of June, the girls saw tears in the eyes of the Blessed Mother. When they asked her why she was crying, she explained it was because people weren't listening to her pleas. A few hours later, the radio news reported that the North Koreans had crossed the 38th degree of latitude and first triggered the Korean War. She stated that the only one who can stop it is the Saviour Jesus Christ, who will avert the disaster when believers actually repent. In several apparitions, the Blessed Mother wept bitterly, and when asked about the reason, she remained quiet. Our Lord also appeared in several apparitions. During the apparition of the crucified Saviour, angels collected the blood flowing down in golden chalices, and handed a chalice to the visionary girls, from which they drank, and divided a large white host, and also gave them the Lord's body. On the first anniversary of the apparitions, the Blessed Mother appeared to the girls, telling them to pray. On the 1st of October, the date of the Assumption of Mary into Heaven, the Blessed Mother appeared with a black rosary and was seen by 300 people. One interesting thing to note is that one of the 300 people who saw her had a vision where she saw a large cross hovering with a measurable abundance of light where the body of Jesus was covered with wounds. The crown of thorns pressed on his head and one eyelid was pierced by a thorn. From the wound in his side, a light sheath broke. The blood flowing from the foot wounds flew into purgatory for the refreshment of the poor souls. The Saviour complained that the church authorities didn't believe the apparitions, then gave a blessing to the children. They will only believe it when I carry them off, and they will recognize it not till they are in heaven, when they come to me. I can no longer hold back to punishing justice. On the 13th of March in 1951, the Blessed Mother appeared again. Several saints also accompanied her. A large crowd had gathered at the site along with the seven little girls. The saints greeted the children with a handshake. The children asked what was the meaning behind the handshake and their appearance. They then told that in order for their hands to not act unchaste, they should look in the eyes of the Blessed Mother, Infant Jesus and the saints, so that they may have no joy in unjust sin and never give accommodation to the body and its senses because once the court comes, everything will be revealed, the good and evil. Now, one thing that you need to know is that a special importance was attached to the saints who represented a mission of their own. Pope Pius X as an envoy of the Eucharist, 
Brother Nicholas of Flew, with Saint Therese as envoys of humility, Saint Marigo Reddy with Saint Aloysius as envoys of chastity, and Saint Anthony with Saint Crescentia as envoys against demonic affliction. The Mother of God granted many prayer requests as a sign of authenticity for the apparitions. Just the fact that thousands of people prayed for long periods in all weather conditions was a miracle in itself. On the last apparition on October 31, 1952, many people gathered at the site. The Blessed Mother appeared with the infant Jesus, saying they didn't come to work miracles, but to call for penance and prayer, and that the people should continue praying even if they no longer appear. The Blessed Mother then closed the evening with a message, saying they were pleased with the many pilgrims who gathered there and that that would be their last appearance. Then 20 angels appeared, as well as a good number of saints who became visible. More angels in pink, white, blue and red robes came. They played a hymn and soon the pilgrims joined the singing. Later that night at 11 p.m., the Blessed Mother appeared one last time, saying one has not followed the words of her and her son, and to that, they have claimed for the salvation of everyone. She then urged the people to pray for the priests, so that they would throw themselves on their knees and pray together with everyone. After long-lasting discussions about the authenticity of the apparitions, on March 1, 1998, the site was officially inaugurated by the Catholic Church as a center of prayer.